All right guys and girls, Harry McKenzie from Visor Down, hope you're all doing well. And today we're on a bit of private land and we've been buzzing about the new Osset Racing 24 bike. So, as you can see, it is a trials bike and it's got downhill mountain bike suspension, rear suspension as well, which is preload uh, pre adjustable and compression adjustable as well. Hydraulic brakes, it's got the full shebang, it's got all the bells and whistles that you want on a downhill mountain bike, but it's got that big 1400 watt electric motor there. Now, a lot of people are going to go, well, how long does it last? Well, we've been buzzing about for about three hours now, and we've been really ripping on this one because it's a load of fun. And we've got about three hours out of it. So it's not too bad, it's, it's still not completely empty. So we're going to tiddle it home and we'll all be happy. So I suppose some of the advantages then of an electric trials bike over a petrol one are obviously noise. So luckily we're, we're lucky enough to be on private land today as I say, but even in some areas of the UK, even on tracks and so forth, people do complain about noise. And, they, and again, this is completely noiseless. You only hear a tiny little, tiny little whine from the, from the electric motor. And uh, yeah, it's got all the boot you need. I almost crashed it into a fence today, so that was pretty clever. So there are a few other benefits of having an electric trials bike over a petrol one. Uh, obviously we've discussed noise, but there's also servicing as well. So there's hardly any moving parts on this motor. I think there's only a few moving parts. You know, you just have to keep the chain lubricated and tensioned. And the, as I say, the battery life is, is pretty, pretty extraordinary. Plus the guarantee on them is around about five years. So every five years, replace the batteries. I think something around 800 quid or something like that. Um, so yeah, you've got, to, uh, you've got all the sort of um, adjustable response mode in here, power and speed. They're obviously pretty self-explanatory. But what the response does is just lessen that throttle response um, if you're like me and like to crash into fences. So, so the damage on this bad boy then is 3369, so that's 3,369 quid. Now, it's not cheap, but you're getting a lot of bike for the money. Let's say you've got the full, fully uh, adjustable, sorry, compression adjustable mounted bike forks, which look epic and feel great as well. We've been hitting ruts, been hitting roots, been hitting everything, and they take the load completely. Got nice rugged tyres on there as well. Hydraulic brakes, hydraulic rear brake as well. It, it's a great little little thing. So enough of me blabbering on. Let's go and look at some riding footage. So how does this thing ride? You know, it's it's quite an interesting one. It's got all the mountain bike bits, so I felt right at home. I've done quite a bit of MTB in the past, and this this really does goad you to push it further and further. So as I say, it feels very familiar. If you can ride a push bike or a mountain bike um, downhill, you'd certainly be able to, to ride this. Pretty, pretty darn easily. I found it completely familiar um, and just epic fun. You know, it's, as I say, it's silent and you just, you're really in complete control. Suspension gives great feedback. The rear is, I'd say, preload adjustable. So you can set it up to your weight, weight, which I think the weight limit on these is around about 90 kilograms. So if you are a bit bigger, then go to the gym, knock off a few pounds, you'll be all right. But yeah, I really cannot stress enough how fun these things are and I, yeah, it. I'm, I, I don't want to give this one back to be personally honest uh, but I'm gonna have to at some point and uh, yeah I will certainly be thinking about purchasing one of these things myself in the future so read the full review on visordown.com hope you have a good day